Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be diving into the new Wet n Wild Fire and Ice Dragon Collection. I have a whole bunch of products to test out. We have eyeshadows, bronzers, lip products. I'm really, really excited to get into it, so let's just jump in. The first products that really like stood out to me were the brushes because they are so pretty. You have one for fire and one for ice. I think I have like a low-key brush obsession, so of course the brushes would excite me. They're both really, really nice very useful brushes. Sometimes, you know, brushes come out that you're like, mm, what is that for exactly? Here are some of the products. We have the fire side and the eye side. You have eyeshadow palettes, eye pigments, highlighters, and lip products, as well as the products that are in here. They also sent some separately. I guess it's like an extension, I suppose. You have another highlighter, another bronzer. You have two more little eyeshadow palettes, and then we have more lipsticks. There's quite a few products in this collection, so I'm going to try to put as many as I possibly can on my face. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a fire side and an ice side, so I'm going to have two different looks going on. We're going to see how that goes. I think we should just put some makeup on. I'm going to start off with bronzer first. We have three that come from the fire side. The ice side has highlighters. I think I'm going to take the lighter of the three bronzers. This one is called Bronze Dynasty. I think 30 minutes of this video is going to be me sitting here and opening the packaging. When in Wild really likes to seal in their products. So this is what the bronzer looks like. It has a little dragon imprint in it. I really like this shade and the powder is so, so soft. This has kind of like a satiny sheen to it. It's not like sparkly or anything, but oh wow, that's really, really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and take this little fire brush here. I'm going to try to use this for bronzer. Normally I go for like angled brushes, but not the brush of choice I would use for bronzer, but it's working. Bronzer is actually really pretty. That's a nice shade for me. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that just gives your cheeks such a natural, like healthy glow just because it has like that satin sheen to it. I'm really, really, really digging this bronzer a lot. I'm going to do the other side as well. We're going to bronze up the whole face. I do want to pop on a little bit of blush, and this collection doesn't have a blush, so I'm going to take the Pixi Fresh Face Blush in Beach Rose. This is such a beautiful, like, neutral, natural shade. Now we're going to move on to highlighter. We have three that come from the Ice Dragon side, and they're all pretty icy highlighters. Ice Dragon... Okay. We have this like full-on blue highlight. It's called Halo Walkers. I really think they got a lot of inspiration from Game of Thrones. And then we have this one right here. It's called Glow Watcher. I can't really tell the shift on this one. It's very pearly, but I... Is that bluish? And then we have a Winter Falls in LA, which I can tell this one has like that blue shift to it. I might take the shade Glow Watcher because I feel like this might be the more natural one, but I do want to like swatch this blue one. I really like the design in the highlight palette as well. I love how they all have their own little touch. Let's do a little swatch. Oh, wow. Mm, that is really, really blue. It's so pretty and very glowy, but it's definitely, it's blue. So that is the icy one with the blue. This is like the pearly one and that's the blue one in the middle. This is actually really, really pretty too. Kind of feels different. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm still gonna go into this icy one and see what happens. It makes me sad I don't get to use my BH140 highlight brush, but we're gonna use the brush that comes on the ice side. So I'm gonna run this through the highlight. I'm so nervous about this. I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, all right. Ooh, ooh, <gasps> did I pick up the right one? Yeah, I think I did. This definitely has like a bluish tint to it as well. Oh, wow. Woo! Woo! This is gorgeous. I've always loved Wet n Wild highlighters. I think they're like amazing drugstore finds. They're super, super affordable. Don't sleep on them. This shade, maybe it's not like a shade I would necessarily wear like as an everyday situation, but it's beautiful nonetheless. It's super, super glowy. It does kind of have a little bit of a cast to it when I like look at you guys straight on. I do see some of like the bluish grayness, but dang, like from the side, 
I do like it. Highlight is done. We're definitely looking frosty, but now we're gonna move on to the eyes. I hope you guys know that there's just like always coffee on standby for me. <laughs> so we have a pair of eyeshadow quads from the fire dragon side and the ice dragon side. I'm gonna create a look on each eye, you know, fire and ice. And we also have some eye pigments. These are the two loose pigments from the ice dragon side. You have like a silver one and this really pretty blue. And on the fire side, you have this gold pigment and then this really pretty like burgundy maroon color. I think I'm going to focus mostly on the eyeshadows. We'll see with the pigments. Maybe we can squeeze them in. I don't know yet. I'll just be here opening palettes for the next 30 minutes. Now that I finally got them open, I'm gonna start off with the Ice Dragon shadows first. Definitely very cool tone, very smoky, silver. You have that blue and purple. This purple's really, really pretty. I might have to use that. So I'm gonna do the Ice Dragon on this eye. Let me zoom you guys in. I'm gonna go into the Knight's Quad and I'm taking this matte bone shade and this is gonna go underneath the brow. From the same palette, I'm gonna take this matte soft brown with my Morphe Mysterious blending brush and I'm gonna pop this into the crease. The shadow is quite powdery in the palette when I'm picking it up. There's like a lot of kickback. It goes on really nicely on the eye. I don't have any fallout. This is a really pretty shade. I like that. Same palette, I'm taking this shimmery black shade. I'm gonna take a really tiny amount of this and I'm gonna pop this into the crease. I mean, it does say crease on it. Um, it does have some sparkle, but I have a feeling it's not gonna be really glittery in the crease. I'm just gonna place it right in there. I'm taking a little bit of that soft brown that we used earlier and I'm gonna help the black blend out a little bit better, but that actually looks pretty good. We went smoky like really fast. Very unexpected, but hey. Now I'm gonna go into Mythical Creatures, which has that purpley shade in it. That looks so pretty. I'm gonna take a little flat eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna hope that this goes on the eye as pigmented as it looks. Okay, it looks pretty when you swatch it with your finger, but it's literally, I feel like I'm not picking up any product. I'm gonna actually apply this on my lid with my finger. I went ahead and scraped off, oh yeah, much better. I scraped off like a little bit of the layer of the eyeshadow and it seems to be working a lot better. I'm getting a little bit of fallout obviously because I picked up so much with my finger, but this is a really, really pretty shade once you get it to work. I think I'm actually gonna take some of the silver color and apply that to the inner corners of my eyes. Oh yeah, this silver is definitely popping. I don't remember the last time I wore silver eyeshadow. Do you guys remember like those really dark black smoky eyes with like silver on the lid? Good times, I feel like nobody wears that look anymore. <laughs> I think lastly, I'm gonna take this really pretty blue shade with a little shader brush and I'm gonna smudge that on the lower lash line. These are a little, powdery in the palettes they do have quite a bit of kickback so you want to be careful Ooh, she is dark she is pigmented i was not expecting that we oh that took a turn i think i'm going to smudge this on my top lash line as well just to bring in that darkness a little bit i am getting quite a bit of fallout underneath my eyes so that is something to look out for now i'm just going to like blend out this blue a little bit Alrighty, i think that completes the ice dragon side now we're going to move on to the fire dragon the fire dragon side is definitely a lot more warm and earthy it's giving me like forest medieval times maybe it's just because there's dragons and that's a theme okay i'm starting off with dragon scales and i'm gonna take this nude little shimmery shade and I'm gonna pop this underneath my brow bone for the highlight. This one doesn't have a matte shadow, but oh, that is pretty. Wow, that is a really pretty highlight shade. Next, I'm gonna go into this matte warm brown shade for our first transition color. I'm gonna pop this into my crease. Again, quite powdery in the palette. Taking that on my mysterious Morphe brush. And I'm just gonna put that in the crease, blend it out. You know the drill. I'm gonna go into the Fit for a Queen palette with that burgundy. I'm gonna take a really small amount of that. It is a matte shade. It's gonna look so pretty in the crease. I'm gonna pop that right on the outer part. How am I doing this without a mirror right now? Oh my God, what's wrong with me? Ooh, I really like this burgundy shade, especially mixed with that brown. It creates such a beautiful color. Wow. I really like it. I knew I was gonna like the fire dragon. I'm definitely drawn to this like forest green shade, so I think I'm gonna pop that all over my lid. I'm hoping this one has good pigmentation and not a lot of fallout. 
Mm. I was hoping for better. I'm gonna take a little bit of this lighter green shade with the same brush and I'm gonna pop that like on the more inner parts of my eyes and just blend that into the darker green. Does that do anything? <laughs> For some reason, this shadow, just like the purple one, to like scrape a layer of it off. I don't know why. It's like really not putting down much pigment. I'm going to take this pinky rose gold shadow and I'm going to pop that on the inner corners of my eyes. I feel like this color is like really pretty. High hopes. I have so much dark eyeshadow fallout that just won't come off my skin. It's like permanently in my complexion now. It's like not, not a cute look. I'm going to take that matte burgundy shade with a small little pencil brush and I'm going to smudge this on my lower lash line. Adding a little bit more to the crease just to smoke it out a little bit more. I think that looks a little better. Alrighty, I think that's it for the eyeshadows. I'm going to pop on some mascara real quick and I'll be right back. So here we have the finished Ice Dragon Eye and then we have the Fire Dragon. Let me know in the comments down below which eye you guys like the best. Are you a Fire Dragon or an Ice Dragon? I'm kind of like torn. I think overall they both came out like really really pretty. They did have like the same issues like the mattes were super powdery in the palette but they went on the eyes really nicely and blended out beautifully. I think the metallic struggled the most. They just weren't very pigmented. I just uh, I was wishing they had a little bit more oomph. The silver I used in the inner corners of my eyes and the brow bone highlight those are probably like the nicest metallic in the palettes but I don't know. Overall, I got a good look. And these palettes are $2.99 each. So, for $3, I think it's not bad. I did get quite a bit of fallout underneath my eyes, so maybe do your eyeshadow first and then do your foundation. <laughs> but other than that, I think, I think it looks really pretty. Lastly, we have the lips, and each side has two metallic liquid lipsticks and a lip topper. I'm, I'm not particularly a fan of metallic liquid lipsticks. I don't wear them. I don't wear them out. It's just not something I gravitate towards. I mean, they look really, really pretty, and some people rock them, but I feel like it's just not my cup of tea. So they're definitely lip products that I probably wouldn't end up wearing, but I am going to wear one of them. Which one? I don't know. I think I'm kind of gravitating towards this shade. It's like this grayish brown. I don't know what. It's called Shall We Slay? Yeah, let's do this one. Alrighty, so this is an interesting color. I don't think I'm particularly rocking it, but it's kind of it's kind of cool because the metallic is very subtle. Um, it's mostly like a lot of gray, and then you get this very slight hint of like a warm metallic bronzy color in there. I don't know, it's really pretty. It feels very comfortable on the lips. I did have to go over it like a couple times just because it went on a little bit more sheer and patchy. Like I had fixed that a little bit. But now that it's on, I mean, I got like butthole mouth. <laughs> and I don't think this color particularly makes your teeth look the best, but the formula, the way it looks on the lips is really pretty actually. It does dry down, it doesn't transfer. I've tried their normal liquid lipsticks in the past and I actually really do like them, but yeah. This is an interesting color. I think for the sake of it, we should put maybe some of these lip toppers on top. Since this lipstick is from the ice side, I'm going to take the fire lip topper that has like this pink duochrome to it. I think we're going to pop a little on the lips. I think I'm getting like a hint of like a cinnamon... I don't know what I'm smelling. So this is a lip topper. I'm not quite sure if it's going to dry to like a matte finish or it's like more glossy. We're going to find out. Oh. Ah, I'm just gonna put a little in the center. This is, oh, I think it's kind of like a gloss because it's a lot thicker. It kind of has like a stickiness, like a tacky to it. Oh, it definitely transformed the lipstick. It's not a jazz shade. It's definitely alien chic, but <laughs> it's interesting. It's interesting. All right, you guys. So this is this is my look. This is the look. I think I'm ready to go grocery shopping or something. The lips honestly look so cool. They match the ice dragon eye a lot better in real life. Oh, these lips. I kind of really like how the lips look. 
They just look really magical. I would never wear this like out and about, but it looks really pretty. I think overall it's a really fun collection, but it's not particularly something I see myself reaching for a lot. It's a lot of interesting colors. The highlighters are not definitely like everyday highlighters. The lip products, just generally not something I personally go towards. This can be like somebody else's cup of tea or coffee but i think my favorite products were definitely the bronzer i would definitely see myself using this again and the brushes like these love i'm obsessed with these i'm definitely gonna use them again everything else it worked out nicely i mean wet and wild highlighters are freaking amazing they're just not the type of shades i would generally wear but they do have like other colors you guys can look into um the eyeshadow palettes they did perform decently i did have a few issues so because of those few issues like i don't see myself reaching for those over like palettes that i know work out if you know what i mean and the lips they're not bad, just colors I would not wear. At the end of the day, I think it's all about personal preference. Like, if this collection just screams your name, these are the shades you live for, then I highly recommend it. Like, Wet n Wild makes really awesome, good, affordable drugstore makeup. I also love, like, the whole theme of the collection, like the fire and ice dragon. It's very refreshing. I think we're all kind of tired of, like, the unicorns and the rainbows and cupcakes and sparkles and all things girly. This is kind of a little bit more edgy, and I really, really love that. So it's kind of like a collector's thing, too. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video found it helpful definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below anyways don't forget to follow me on twitter messy jesse beauty and instagram makeup by jesse also if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do so before you go and also hit that little bell so you're notified every time i post a new video with all of that said i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>